Till my brain tells me I've been here before Don't wanna draw any attention To all the crazy things that I Hey guys, so I'm going to start off with my Marc Jacobs foundation and I still don't know how I feel about this. This was the first time I decided to try it out, but I am more of a full coverage girl. So I definitely didn't feel like this was a full coverage foundation. I did apply two layers of this foundation, but I started feeling like it started caking up on me around my mouth. So I'm still kind of testing testing this foundation but I did apply with a beauty blender because usually that's what I would do is apply my foundation with the beauty blender and it did come as a PR package with a sponge with with a brush not a sponge <laughs> with a brush so I really wouldn't normally use a brush for that but I'm using my beauty blender in this video and I mean I really like the color because I really like my foundations to be yellow toned I don't know why um, so I really did like the color of the foundation I just didn't like that it was kind of separating and it was kind of cakey around my lip area and it kind of looked like I had dry patches so yeah so I'm just applying this with a damped uh, elf cosmetics uh, sponge and I like to make sure that everything is going to be nice and blended so I do take my time doing this so I did have to fast forward this a little bit because I do take my time I feel like I kind of zone out when I'm doing this I don't know it relaxes me I guess I have no idea but I feel like it zones me out so I kind of just keep blending and blending and blending so after that I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set it because that's what normally I would do so I'm going to be using the Too Faced um setting powder and it's my favorite so I've decided to go ahead and do that um, I am using a brush to do this so I do apply it under the eyes first and then my nose chin nose I said nose already <laughs> cupid's bow and forehead I make sure that everything where it creases usually this is where I definitely apply the product first and then I go ahead and set the rest of my face with the same product since this is translucent powder, it doesn't have no color or anything, so that's what I like about this powder. Um, but I don't know how it would work with another type of powder or something. I've seen a lot of reviews where people don't really set it, but I have to set it because my face is really oily, so I didn't want to be a grease ball during the day. So here I'm going with my Makeup Forever bronzer, and I'm applying this with a Smashbox brush. And... I'm just carving out my face to make me appear slim throughout my face because of this round face that I got so yeah and so I'm just uh, doing wherever I usually do just to bronze it up and contour it to make sure that it looks really nice and chiseled and we don't want to forget the chin so we hide that double chin as well make it seem like you didn't eat 10 tacos last night and then you're kind of regretting it the next day so yeah so I'm making sure things really nice and blended and then I'm going with my Bare Minerals uh, blush. It's like a orangey shade and I'm just going back with the same brush and blend everything out. You want to make sure things really nice and blended so it doesn't look too harsh you guys because it's happened. Alright so we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to go ahead and um, do my nose to make it look like it's small but it really isn't small so I just go ahead and apply the same bronzer I did try doing it with the cooler tone but I feel like my nose looks muddy I really don't like it so I went back again with um, with a warmer shade I just can't do cool tones I don't know I feel like they look dirty on me so I really try to stay away from cool tones so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go and highlight I'm going to be using the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter and I do have a discount code, Pretty Grace or somebody off if you guys are interested. Um, so I do spritz my, uh, what is it, a Sigma brush. Yeah, it's a Sigma brush. It's really old, as you guys can tell. I've had it for so long, and this is one of my favorite brushes to apply my highlighter. It's supposed to be for a concealer, I think. I don't know. Um, so I'm just applying this usually where I want it to pop. And I make sure that I apply a lot because after I go ahead and I... Um, blend everything out and I just want to make sure that it stays popping after I even blended it out so yes 
So I was like, oh yeah, girl, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm going with the Morphe 24G palette. Uh, you guys have asked me to do uh, more makeup looks with this palette because I think it's one of the recent palettes they came out with. So I'm using this orangey and light shade, mixing those two together, and I'm applying this right on the crease, making sure that I blend outwards. And I do want to kind of stretch out my eye, so I do bring it out a little bit more. And then I just kind of go back and forth, make sure that it is blended and it has the... Uh, it's as pigmented as I wanted so I'm making sure that I blend out the outer part and then I'm going to apply the shimmery light shade right in the inner corner of the eyes I'm able to do this because <laughs> I took off my nails so um, I'm applying this with my finger and then uh, the other gold shade is gonna go right into the center and then after I applied those colors I'm going back with three dark brown colors and I'm just going to smoke out the outer corner of the eyes because I kind of was going for a like smoky wing but then I was like you know what I kind of like this outer corner to be smoked out so that's what I went and I did so I'm just going back and forth like into a V shape into my eye and blending that out after I go back with the same crease color and the same brush and then just blend everything out make sure that everything is really nice and blended and I'm just doing circle and windshield motions to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. So I'm just going back and retouching anything that I feel that needs to be retouched and then clean out any fallout. You do not want to leave any fallout because then it will definitely stick and then you'll end up with looking dirty patches under the eyes. So the same shades I use on the top I'm using at the bottom lash line, uh, making sure that I do stick to the same thing that I had already done so the uh, more light color in the inner corner the gold champagne in the middle and then the darker browns in the outer corner here I'm using a makeup geek eye pencil I was going wanted to try something different not usually the same black or you know nude so I decided to use like a burgundy shade and I really liked it because it made my eyes pop a lot more and then I'm just blending everything out with my finger I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyelashes. These are the Coco Lashes in Goddess. And I should have applied a little bit of eyeliner to clean out the glue that you can still see. But I was like in a hurry, so my bad. But you definitely want to do that. So make sure that you apply a little bit of eyeliner so you can hide the glue. Here I'm applying a little bit of a lip gloss. This one is from MAC. And I forgot which... Um, I'll list it down below the name of it. Uh, I don't know from what uh, campaign it was. I have no idea. I forgot. But this is old. So, yeah. So, I decided to put it on because I really wanted some gloss on my lips. I still haven't been able to find a nice gloss. So, yeah. So, here I'm just applying the eyelash as close as I can to the lash line. Um, I would totally have gone back and applied some eyeliner. But I was really in a rush to go out. So, I really didn't. So, my bad. Alright, so after that, you want to go ahead and apply some mascara. I am using the Marc Jacobs Mascara. Um, I forgot the name of it. But, I'm going to apply some on uh, the top and bottom lashes. And, that should be the final look as well. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I love you guys all so much. And... I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.